Salem is an American town with a dark history of occult terror. From witchcraft to devil worshipping, its past has become infamous and many legends have been told about this place. It is supposedly the most haunted town in the country that has become a gold mine of paranormal sightings for many ghost hunters across the world. Out of all the dark and twisted histories this place has to tell, there is nothing quite as tragic as the Salem witch burnings. This was a much darker time of paranoia and occult speculation. The idea of witches existing in this day and age may seem ridiculous, yet in these days such beliefs were rampant and many feared the unknown. The amounts of innocent women and young girls who were crucified and burnt alive in the name of cleansing is gut-wrenching and tragic. However, many stories of revenge have stemmed from these horrific tales, that of undead witches returning from their graves to wreak havoc upon the living. Sophia Garland was a young woman who, during this dark time in Salem's history, was wrongfully accused of witchcraft. Angry mobs stormed her home in the middle of the night. Her husband, Benjamin, tried desperately to fend them off, but it was no use. Leave her be, he cried. Sophia is no witch. She is an agent of the devil. Hence, she must be cleansed by burning. They roared, crashing inside and pulling the crying woman away by her hair into the cold, wet and rainy night. Good Lord above, can you not see? Benjamin cried. Sophia is no witch. She is my wife. Then you must be a warlock. They gasped in horror. You too shall be drowned. Please, Sophia begged. I am the witch you seek. Benjamin has no part in such devilry. It is me you want. Do not harm him, I beg of you. Sophia, no, don't succumb to their blasphemy. I only wish to save you, my dear. Enough of this, spat the preacher, who was leading the mob. We must burn her now, quickly. And so it was that Sophia Garland was burnt at the stake. All Benjamin could do was cry in terror as his once beautiful wife was burnt into a wretched husk of fiery flesh. Her screams of pain were hideous to listen to. See, only a witch would scream so demonically. The preacher gasped in horror, rubbing salt in Benjamin's sorrow. Her body was soon dumped into the murky depths of the village's lake. Yet, the story does not end there. Many of the villagers soon began to see paranormal activity around the lake where her burning soul was drowned. That of a hideous walking corpse resembling a woman. Her skin had become bloated and green. Sophia's features were no longer beautiful, but grotesque and horrid. Rotten skin hung loosely around her skeleton, which was protruding from beneath her body. It was her laugh that disturbed people the most, that which has become known as the sinister cackle of a horrifying witch. Her dress had become a collection of black and brown rags, and she seemed to possess paranormal powers such as fleet or hypnosis. Sometimes young men would be seduced by Sophia's former beauty. The sight of a nude beautiful woman by the lake would lure them in, before revealing her true form in the middle of sex, just to freak them out, or so that's what the rumours suggest. Sophia was not the first or last of these women to be crucified. Soon enough, a coven of witches would begin to form within the darker recesses of Salem. 